Broadcasting from Wilson Area High School, this is the Warrior News, your place to start off the day. Reporting live at 7.44 a.m., the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson, and hopefully it is a good morning for you, and it is a Tuesday morning, March 20th, 2018. Hopefully everybody's in a, at least better shape than the March Madness brackets because, you know, trying to predict sports outcomes is like trying to predict the weather, and who knows how to do that nowadays. But I'm anywho. I'm Alexis Carlbon. And great to have the lovely Lexi here on our first broadcast. And I'm, of course, your main man, MJ. All right. So what does the weather look like, MJ? Well, I'm glad you asked, though, Lexi, because definitely have a uh, major snowstorm coming into the area, which the first flurries of which should be starting around midnight tonight, but the major part of the snowstorm is expected to hit around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So in terms of whether or not we'll have school, currently I would expect it, honestly, to not be, just because the icy roads as well as the strong winds will make driving conditions very poor, but this is definitely, as with most snowstorms, something to keep track of hour by hour, but whatever happens, definitely be careful out there. Glad to know what's going on, MJ. What about sports? Oh, uh, sports. We actually did have our first spring sports match of the season yesterday. Unfortunately, it was a loss. The uh, tennis team lost to Penn Argel 3-2, but definitely a great effort by boys tennis. But funny you should mention spring sports because starting today, we're going to be hearing from each of the spring sports teams uh, from an interview on, you know, Hearing more what the athlete life is like, because I do think that the athletes of Wilson should get their rec recognition. Uh, but we'll be hearing from softball, track, boys tennis, and today, baseball, a team that's only one year removed from a trip to the state playoffs. Expectations are high, of course, for them to repeat their successful season. So now we're going to hear from four of their seniors on the baseball life. In three, two. <laughs> yes, that was a countdown. <laughs> Five-year captain, Gabe Carslow. <laughs> Hi, my name's Gabe Carslow. I'm coming at you with AJ Millicent's right here. I'm Brandon Smith. I'm Nathan fusco Lamont. All right, so Gabe and AJ, uh, what do you love so much about playing baseball? What I like about playing baseball is you can fail seven out of ten times and still be one of the best. Well, that is very true. It's America's pastime. I like the teamwork that goes into it and the way your teammates pick you up after you, you know, you mess up. I just like playing it because I'm not really too good at any other sports, so it's really the only sport I'm good at. Alright, what do you think is the most important skill an athlete can have? I think the most important skill an athlete can have is determination. You get down, get back up, right? Yeah, that's it. Having a tough mind. Yeah, I would say so too, because if, if you're not there mentally, then you're not going to perform well, so. I think the most important skill is dedication. Because you have to put time and effort into the sport to be as good as you possibly can be. What do you like a lot about the team you're working with this season? We're a young team and we still got experienced uh, seniors and we should be able to have a repeat of last year. Well, the team we're working with this season, we had a lot of, a lot of people back, so uh, I'm happy about that. So hopefully we can uh, repeat again, so we'll see. What Gabe said. I would agree, wrote the repeat. Uh, what would you say is the most difficult thing about playing baseball? Being consistent. Consistency is hard. Everybody's going to go in slumps, hitting, pitching, fielding, everything. Get the yips from being a catcher, you got to throw it back. It's tough, but, yep. Like I said, the mental toughness, mindset, confidence. Yeah, co confidence is definitely a big, big thing when it comes to baseball, because if, if you don't have it, then you're not going to perform well. The most difficult thing is, you know, not getting too down on yourself, knowing that you have more opportunities coming up in the game, in the season. You know, like Gabe said, you get in slumps. You're always going to find your way out of it, so. All right, and finally, are there any specific teams you look forward to playing against this season? Notre Dame. Uh, I would say Notre Dame Northwestern. They both beat us twice last year, so come for them this year. Well, uh, many of you may know, Notre Dame's our rival, so yes, Notre Dame is one team I would definitely look forward to playing. This year, it's actually a change, right? The Notre Dame game is not our senior night. We're playing their senior night, so I would like a lot of people to come out for that one so we can beat them on their senior night. Come out to our senior night, 
against Palisades. Same place, same time. 7 o'clock, Williams Township. Be there. And you can watch a softball team. Softball team, too, is there, so you can go back and forth. Yep, you can stand right there and watch. Okay, thank you, Nathan Brandon. Right, thank you, Gavin Aja. That was killer! Always uh, amusing, but thanks to the baseball team for that interview. All right, sign-ups for Superstars are available. In order to compete in Superstars, you must buy a t-shirt at any of the lunches. T-shirts cost $7. See Maddie Green if you have any questions. Definitely is an event worth going to, especially if you're underclassmen. As many of the upperclassmen can tell you, it's definitely a memorable and enjoyable experience. But in other news, applications to be considered for the Futuro Empresario Summer Program at the Sales University must be turned into Mrs. David by this Friday. Come out and support the concert choir this Thursday at 7 p.m. for their spring chorus concert. Suggested donations are $2 for students and $3 for adults. And of course, as always, the usual reminder to seniors to be checking the Guidance Office webpage for the latest in scholarships. Definitely a lot of money out there for the taking. And that's it for today, Wilson. Be sure to follow us on social media and YouTube at Warrior News 15. But until next time, I'm Alexis Carlbon. And I'm Michael Jablonski. And as always, stay classy, Wilson. It's 9 o'clock on a Saturday. Regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin.